you, buddy. He's gone. I'm Dan Fine. Um, let's get me back in Pittsburgh. I don't actually live here anymore. I live in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. That no, wasn't a joke. <laughs> it's my life. It's, it's strange coming home every now and then, because uh, every time I come to a bar like this, or not really this bar, but other bars, you know, I've, I run into a lot of old high school acquaintances, not really friends, but... Uh, Woo! Yeah! It's, Where are those people? I don't know, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Uh, you always get those like weird conversations with those people. Um, like, how are you doing? Oh, I'm living down on the south side now. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I always want to, I've never done it, but I always wanted to just just blow them away with some made up story. Uh, well, yeah, after my first sex change, I, uh, I decided I really didn't like having periods anymore, so I came back. I'm a dick again. <laughs> that, that would shock people if I would say that kind of thing. Um, so the military uh, got rid of their don't ask, don't tell policy. It was where they didn't ask if people were gay and gay people didn't tell if they were gay. It was, it was kind of a bad policy, so it was good for the military, but I kind of like the idea and I, uh, I kept it in my apartment with my roommate. Like, he'll come home, he'll find that his uh, chicken alfredo is missing out of the fridge, and, uh, well, he tries to ask me what I tell him, but he won't like what I tell him. Uh, he does the same thing when he finds a wet bottle of towel in his bed sheets. Alright. Is it weird that when I see a truck pulled over on the side of the road, I think there's a trucker inside just jerking it. <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or not. I think other people think that. So it is Christmas. I'm sure most of you celebrated that. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't really believe in Santa. That wasn't a joke either, that's just the sad truth about my childhood. I was pretty skeptical as a little kid. I'd always try to set traps for my mom, posing as Santa, and uh, it never worked out. She was, she was crafty. Um, so me and my, uh, my family always has a secret Santa. Um, it's always $25, it has been ever since I was little, and could actually have the money to to buy the gift, $25. So this year I have my cousin Jeffrey, um, and he wrote some items that he wanted for Christmas on his little sheet when I pulled his name out of the hat. And the first thing on his list was uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which is a video game. It's retailed at about $55. <laughs> Uh, Jeffrey's not my smartest cousin, and he's definitely not my coolest cousin, so there's no fucking way I was going to get him that Christmas present. Since he's such a retard, I was going to, I was planning on fucking with him a little bit. I was going to maybe get him like a hooked on phonics thing, or a Sesame Street counting thing, I don't know. I don't know what those people are. Special Olympics actually a $25 entrance fee, but the deadline was a few months ago. So that. Um, Sideways is a good movie, but uh, only when you watch it right side up. It's pretty good. Taking it to the street is not a song I want to hear when my house is getting foreclosed. Awesome. That's great. Fantastic. <laughs> so if history tends to repeat itself, Jews and blacks are fucked. <laughs> it's just history. <laughs> Read a book. I was really upset when I found out that uh Trojan well Trojan's coming out with this new condom. I was really upset when uh, I found out that they weren't actual bear skin condoms. 
Oh. It made me think of some failed product ideas that I had. The first one was called Head and Asses. It's a shampoo specifically for pubic area hair. <laughs> Uh, next one was, it's called the Luggy. It's a Snuggie that you just put your legs into. Uh, the next one, I call it Note in a Bar. Now think about this. You're in a bar, it's loud, it's crowded. There's a lot of people, you can't really move. But you see uh, an attractive girl standing at the end of the bar. And you need to show her that you want to talk to her. So you get this piece of paper, you just crumple it up. But it has the words, I want to bone you on it. And you just throw it at it. <laughs> it was a failed product, obviously. <laughs> I didn't say they all worked. <laughs> I've been going to the dog park a lot recently. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a nightclub. You know, like nightclub, heavy bass, shaking asses, creepy guys. The dog park is kind of like a nightclub for dogs. You don't get 10 feet through the door without getting help on something. <laughs> you always have to check your dog the next morning. Please, because you never know what those bitches are carrying. <laughs> uh, sometimes the male dogs will they'll try to push drinks on the female dogs so they get kind of boozed up. And then they'll go out on the dance floor and start dancing with them. And the female dogs are all offended. And uh, the male dogs kind of get upset. <laughs> Sometimes you hear dubstep remixes at the dog park. You know, you know, mixing it up. Alright, uh, I heard uh, Hallie Keller was mentioned a little earlier. I actually came up with a character. It's not Helen Keller per se. Let's say that Helen Keller somehow got onto a baseball team. This is an impression of a person that was on the team with him. Okay. That girl couldn't find a batter's box if it was, if it was waving at someone to scream in her face. <laughs> I came up with that character like five minutes ago. Um, it's a five dollar wins tonight, guys. You guys eat dinner yet? Five dollars. What? Five dollar wings. Did you eat them? Karis did. Should. Yeah, Karis had some good ones. It's my friend Karis over there. Woo! Karis! Woo! Karis is a special fella. He, uh... He, he spells the word cum, C-U-M. And the word night. Actually, he, uh... He did pretty well on his SATs. He got like yes. 250 on it. Uh, 200 of the points came from writing his name, which he just wrote his Karis. <laughs> he actually, he just goes by Karis. His full name is Christopher Karis. Chris, but uh, nobody calls him that. It's just Karis. I've heard his dad call him Karis. His brother goes by the name Tits. <laughs> Because he used to have tits growing up. He just kind of got that name somehow. <laughs> so, I think I got a few of the jokes here. Did anybody ever been to Nashville? Actually, yeah. Cool. Hey, Jim, hey! It's a good place to go if you want to get drunk for a week. But really, you could say that about any, any place in the world. Um, you guys ever been to, to Winnipeg? It's a good place to go if you want to get drunk for a week. <laughs> My girlfriend's from there. Yeah. Um, yeah, she is. She is she from is, there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just have this one last joke. It's terribly offensive, and uh, I'll just get off the stage afterwards. Karis actually told me to tell this. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing about eating a vegetable? What? The wheelchair. Thanks, <laughs> 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 <laughs>